In this lecture, let us see how much memory size can we access. So, given a number of address bits, what is the maximum size of memory that the system can access? Let us take an example of 8 bits. With 8 bits, I can have 2 to the power of 8, which is 256 addresses. And these addresses would range from 0 to 255. So, what is the maximum memory size that the system can have? If it is byte addressable, if the memory is byte addressable and only 256 addresses are possible, that means I can have 256 bytes only. Because in a byte addressable memory, each byte needs an address and only 256 addresses are possible. So, the size of the memory can only be 256 bytes. What if it is a word addressable memory? If it is a word addressable memory and again, if only 256 addresses are possible, that means I can have 256 words. And what is the size of each word? That depends upon the word length. So, if the word length is 16 bits for a 16 bit machine, that means 2 bytes, then the size of the memory would be 256 into 2 bytes, which would be 512 bytes. If the word length is 32 bits, which is 4 bytes, then I can have 256 into 4, which is 1024 bytes. So, this is the maximum memory that I can have. Let us take another example using 10 bits. So, if I have 10 bits in my address, then I can have a maximum of 2 to the power of 10 addresses, which is 1024 and the addresses would range from 0 to 1023. So, what is the size of the memory that I can have? Again, if it is a byte addressable memory and each byte has an address. So, I can just have 1024 bytes and each byte will have an address. And 1024, we can also say it is a 1 kilobyte memory. 1k is 2 to the power of 10. So, I can say I, I this is the maximum memory I can address. 1 kilobyte. If it is a word addressable machine, word addressable memory. So, then I can have 1024 words. These many memory locations I can access. What is the word length? If it is a 16 bit machine, word length is 2 bytes. So, if it is a 16 bit machine, word length would be 2 bytes. So, I would have these many bytes. And this would be 2048 bytes, which is 2 kilobytes of memory. If it was a 32 bit machine, I would have 1024 into 4 bytes, which is 4096. And that means I am talking about a 4 KB of memory. So, if I generalize, k bits of addresses give me 2 to the power of k addresses. k bits in the address give me 2 to the power of k addresses and then the size of the memory will depend whether it is a byte addressable memory or a word addressable memory. 
and if it is a word addressable memory then what is the word length based on all this information you can determine the maximum size that the processor will be able to access